Welcome to AmiCast, podcast about Amiga computers. I'm your host, Krzysztof Radzikowski, but call me Christoph or Radzik. If you would like to use different system than uh, this from Amiga Forever, what you can do in the Mac OS situation. Uh, so I will use the 3.9 um, and um, you need basically you need your system and the the rom file rom file you can get um, from uh, from uh, for example amiga forever in this situation and in and you use the amiga uh, os 3.1 uh, for uh, 1200 with the rom key but um, to do it uh, you must go to application folder find the ami kit and then show packages and then you can copy your ROM uh, here. If you would like to use Amiga OS 3.1.4, you must copy the installation disk in Rabbit Hold, uh, if I could remember this. But let's copy ROMs to, to ROMs. And uh, here is um, said that you must rename it to KickROM. KickROM. Uh, and then let's configure our Ami kit. So we need um, to select our so file CD-ROMs and here is my 3.9 and just uh, hit the start button. The same stuff uh, doesn't matter. Uh, we can do a full screen here as well. Let's download like before everything uh, what you need so Amikit will do it for us. As we can see here is the used arrows and uh, 3.9 is detected. And like before, hit um, enter and, uh, and run Amikit again. I this nothing will happen, but this we don't need as well. Okay, back to Amikit. Um, let's select uh, the native resolution. So it will be this. And save and save. So installation is complete. Let's do the full screen here. So again, recommendation software. Why not? Okay. So like before, but I didn't put it in. You put your here customer ID, which gives you the, the Amikit author when you buy the, the subscription option, you can download uh, the updates for Amikit, um, whatever is 3.9 or Amiga Forever or uh, other, other solution for uh, installation. As you see now, you can download the, um, the newest update for Amikit. So let's do it. And uh, you must reboot your Amikit. Finish it and reboot. So as you see, in Amikit, uh, everything is um, more magical, more, more magical way than than in the uh, traditional copy um, copy stuff in correct folders. Uh, if you don't know and you are not familiar with the the Amiga OS so much, it will be easier here. Um, and still, we have three uh, nine we running here, so we can. Uh, even update 3.9 uh, so when we go to system there was the, the patch Amiga Forever now is the patch uh, 3.9 you must install the uh, Boeing uh, 1 uh, Boeing Bugs 1 and 2 um, to 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 have this update so let's download the Boeing Bugs it is automatically as you see and there uh, are in the the ROM folder so you can copy the first you install the version um, of course uh, one of Boeing back maybe it will be easier as uh, icon so install and just hit proceed probably you need to uh, and um, uh, yes here the, the need and here we need to put our uh, official ISO image. 
and the CD ROM, virtual CD ROM is insta uh, installed, and the Boeing Ball One is installed. And reboot our Amiga. So let's reboot from our Nikit menu. So go to more files again, uh, system, and uh, patch again the patch and Boeing. Here I will switch to icon. Sorry, to to icons and install. So second version will be installed. The default setup. Install ROM update if we mm, will need it. It will be in, in devs. Proceed, proceed. So uh, reboot Amikit again, and now we will install the not official patches. More for us again. System and the patch, and now finally we can check the patches file understood and install the extra stuff for our uh, 3.9 uh, and Amikit. Shut down Amikit and uh, run Amikit again and it will be installed with the latest updates. So depends what you like. Uh, you can Amikit here is exactly the, the, the same stuff, the, the applications uh, like uh, Amiga AMP doesn't matter exactly which system you will use to install Amikit. Uh, you get the same same stuff here. 